Hey guys, Anthony here with a demo and walkthrough video on Headliner, a free cloud-based video app with which you can create unique social media videos. So here I'm logged into my Headliner account. I like the clean look and feel of this video app. Now Headliner is a fairly new app and they are working on improving it. So the user interface may look a bit different as it evolves. On the dashboard you will see these video creation wizards at the top. With the audiogram wizard, you can easily take an audio clip and convert it into an audiogram video. With this wizard, you are limited to 10 minutes of video duration. You can use the full episode wizard if you want longer audiogram videos. And with the automated wizard, you can upload an audio and headliner will automatically create the video. You can of course edit the video once it's created. And finally, you can use the blank project to create videos from scratch. If you're using Headliner for the first time, I'd suggest that you start with the audiogram wizard. I've created a separate tutorial on how to create audiograms in Headliner, so you can check it out. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the blank project. So once you choose the blank project, you need to choose the video size. We have three options here landscape, square, and portrait. I'll go with landscape and click confirm. It will initialize the video project and then open the video editor. The first thing we need to do is upload an audio. But before we do that, let me walk you through the user interface. In this left side panel, you'll see two tabs. In the transcript tab, it will transcribe the audio once it's uploaded. In the media tab, it will display all the media, that is images, videos, that you use in the video project. In this section to the right is the preview section, and down below is the timeline. The timeline has four tracks, one audio track, one media track where you upload images and video clips, and finally two text tracks, where you can add animated text to your video project. You can name the project by clicking this section and renaming it and then clicking away as it automatically saves it. So now let's upload the audio clip. To do so, click this blue plus button in the timeline. You can then drag and drop the audio clip in this section or use this button to upload your mp3. I'll use a music clip. And once you upload the audio, you can trim the audio clip using the start and end boxes. I'll trim it to around 24 seconds and I'll turn off the transcription by clicking this button and then click add to video. The audio will be added to the timeline below. You can click the audio track to add a waveform. Choose a wave type. I'll go with bricks. Then choose a wave position. I'll go with bottom. You can also change the color. I'll stick with the default blue and click save. Next let's add a background image by clicking this plus sign button in the timeline below. And in this section, let's choose one from Pixabay. I'll use the keyword music and click search. And I'll choose this image. Next we need to crop the image using this grid. You can also choose an animation effect. I'll go with zoom as well as an entry transition, I'll use fade in and click add to video. You will see it added in the timeline below. You can extend the duration of the image by dragging it like so. You can also add more images if you wish. To do so, place the playhead at the appropriate position in the timeline like so. And click the add button and repeat the same process like I showed you earlier. I also went ahead and added a headliner logo at the end. Next, let's add animated text. To do so, place the playhead where you'd like to add the text and then click the add button in the timeline. You will see this dialog box with a text box. Double click in the text box and add text. Under the styles tab, I'll choose tile. And you can use the text tools to align, increase the size, etc. of the text. You can also use the custom tab 
to apply background color and padding to the text box. In the Transitions tab, you can apply in and out text transitions and move the text box by dragging and dropping it. Finally, click Add to Video and it will be added to the timeline below. Similarly, you can move the playhead and add more text in other places in your video project. I've gone ahead and added more text to the rest of the video project. You can then preview your video project in this preview section to see how it looks and make any more edits if you wish. Once you've completed your video project, use this export button to export your video as an MP4. You can choose the export video settings as well as add an intro and outro if you wish and click export. It will start the rendering of the MP4 and you will get a confirmation once it's done. You can click this link to download and share the video and you will also receive an email notification. All your video projects draft and rendered are automatically saved in this main dashboard and you can edit your projects as well as duplicate and download them here. So this is pretty much an overview of Headliner. Check the link in the description section to try Headliner. It's free to use. Well, hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.